Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Today's video will be a tutorial on this wig that was sent to me from I Show Hair. I'll have all of their information, promo codes, and direct links down below in the description box. The wig that we will be working with today is a 24 inch, 180% density, loose, deep wave wig with medium brown lace. So here's how the wig looks straight out of the package and placed straight onto your head. I am obsessed with this wave pattern. I think they did a good job on this wig overall. The density of it is perfect. The wave pattern is so beautiful. They did a really good job at having it thin in the front. So I do not have to do that much work to customize it. I do have to still pluck some more hairs from it, but not as much as other companies I have tried in the past. So the first thing that I am going to do is the beige method of zigzag parting and I am just going to pluck away some of that density around the hairline. Okay, so on to the fun part. In order to turn black hair blue, it has to be pre-lightened. Today, we will be using a 40 volume developer and BW powder bleach. After applying the bleach mixture to the wig, you wanna wrap it in aluminum foil for maximum lift. We're aiming to lift the hair to the highest volume that we can without ruining the integrity of the hair quality. So here are the results from allowing the bleach to process on the hair while being incubated in that aluminum foil for 40 minutes. Make sure that the hair is pre-lightened to this level or higher, the less brown the better. All right, so here's my pro tip. If you put blue hair dye over brown hair, it will of course turn green. Brown hair has a gold yellow tone and when you add blue on top of it, by default, blue and yellow make green. So you don't want any brown or brassy hues or tints to your hair at all. In order to get a true blue hair color, it has to be almost white or a very pale blonde. But of course, there are ways around that. Because I am not re-bleaching this wig to lift it to a level 9 or a 613 hair color, I am just going to have to tone it just so that I can remove any of the yellow and orange brassy tones out of the wig so that when we put the blue on top, we don't have to worry about any weird green tints. Now we are going for teal highlights, so there will be little portions of teal, which has a base of green, but you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So in order to tone this hair, I'll be grabbing my Redken toners. So the toners that we'll be using today are 08VB Violet Frost as well as 09V Platinum Ice. And these two have a violet base and that's gonna help erase that yellow, gold, and orange brassy tone that the hair lifted to. I'm gonna allow the toner to process on the hair for about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna use my black light blue shampoo to shampoo the hair. And this is basically going to further get rid of that brassy yellow or gold tint that still may be left behind. Okay, so now that we have pre-lightened this hair as well as toned it, it's now time to pre-color it. I'm gonna do the water coloring method for this step. I'm grabbing a large glass bowl and some hot water as well as this cream semi-permanent hair dye by Color Jams in the color Huckleberry Blue. And I'm only using about half of that bottle of hair dye and that's because this is not the color that I want the wig to be. This is only going to help me get that multi-dimension, multi-faceted blue hair color. I am doing this step to basically pre-color it as well as to color the knots so that I won't have to worry about the lace being tinted or stained once I apply the Manic Panic on top. 
So this Huckleberry Blue hair dye is a light pale blue with a teal tint. And as you notice, the wig did not lift to an even level throughout the wig. It did lift to different levels of blondes. So only the lightest blondes will pick up this color and the other parts of blondes that did not get as bright, it will not pick up this color. And I'm not going to worry about that because the parts of this wig that did pick up or gravitate to this Huckleberry Blue will come off looking like highlights. So we did all of that work just for this step. Now that our hair has been pre-colored, it's now time to grab our main event, which is Shocking Blue from Manic Panic. I'm just gonna take my time in small sections and I am just gonna work that color into each section of hair, making sure that I'm fully coating it and just making sure that I allow this entire wig to process for a few hours you want to make sure when you are doing this that you are parting the wig so that you can get in between the wefts so that the entire thing will have an even color i definitely recommend the shocking blue color because of this purple base and undertone it does do a great job at canceling further canceling out any of the darker blondes that did not pick up the first time that we watercolored it So the only part that I did not record is the fact that I used the remainder of the Huckleberry Blue cream dye to do streaks. As you can see, this is lighter than the rest of the hair. There are like random streaks of that Huckleberry Blue throughout the wig and you will see it once it dries. After allowing the hair color to process for several hours, it's time to shampoo it out. I'm grabbing Ion's Color Solutions Shampoo. This basically clarifies the hair while protecting the hair color for long lasting maximum color protection. Okay, so here are the results. As you can see, this is a true blue hair color. I love the streaks in the front. You can see that obviously. The hair did lift to different levels throughout when I bleached it and because I did not choose to bleach it more than one time, there are different shades of blues and different tones of blues throughout the wig. One thing that I can say is that I really, 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 really wish that I can get my hands on another Shocking Blue by Manic Panic. Of course, as you know, it is quarantine the beauty supply stores are closed. And with this wig being 24 inches, you definitely need two jars of the Manic Panic instead of one. I only used one and one wasn't enough. Although it looks like the whole entire wig is coated in blue, I actually ran out of the hair dye. So there are certain parts within the middle of the wig that are still a little bit brown. But of course, I can fix that by just get, grabbing another bottle of that Manic Panic, Shocking Blue, going over the wig one more time. I don't even have to do it in sections. I just have to just put that dye on the entire wig and it will all be completed. But here we are. We're going to continue with this video. And we're going to get right into styling this wig. To style it, I will just be doing random wand curls. I'm going to take my time in sections doing that. I am also grabbing a glosser. Um, and I do want to show you guys an up close of how beautiful this blueberry fuego color is, y'all. Like, it's just so pretty. What do you think about this wig? What do you think I should call this wig? Like, I'm loving, loving, loving her. She's electric blue and she's definitely a look for the summer. I really, really, really like the fact that this color shows up so vibrant in the daytime, the nighttime, in the dark. Or in the light, like it, you don't have to go into the bright, bright, bright sunlight in order to see this hair color show up vibrant. So let me stop talking now because I know y'all tired of me rapping. And I'm going to get to the final look in just a second. And finally, we are finished. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. I know that this video was jam-packed of information if you learned something new don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below and i can't wait to see you all in my next video don't forget to check down below all of the information and links promo codes and everything to this wig will be down there in the description box make sure you guys check out i show beauty and i will see you all in my next video
Bye, guys. Brian Littman. <laughs>